Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Fluctus Channel. In icy environments, icebreakers are the lifeline of maritime operations. These specialized vessels are designed to navigate through ice-covered waters. Their primary function is to create pathways through ice-covered seas, enabling safe navigation for cargo ships, research vessels, rescue efforts, and even tourism expeditions. Typically characterized by a robust hull, icebreakers boast a unique design tailored to withstand extreme conditions. One of their most notable features is their distinct bow shape, resembling a sloping wedge-like structure. This shape aids in breaking even the thickest ice sheets by directing its force downwards and using its weight to crack them. While other countries operate icebreakers for various missions, Japan dedicates its Shiratsu icebreaking ship to research in Antarctica. Shiratsi, designated with the hull number AGB-5003, is operated by the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force. The vessel was built in 2008 by Japan Marine United Corporation and commissioned in November 2009. Named after Antarctic explorer Nobu Shiratsi, the Shiratsi icebreaker is set to continue its namesake's legacy in exploration and environmental conservation efforts. Thanks to its advanced research facilities, Shiratsi enables Japanese scientists to conduct vital studies on climate change, oceanography, and marine biology in Antarctica. The country launched its first Antarctic research expedition back in 1956, forging a legacy of collaborative research and observations. Annually, Japan dispatches a select group of scientists to study the latest phenomena in the Antarctic. The departure for each research expedition is a heartfelt moment. Approximately 700 people, including members of the Senate's family, gathered in the early hours to bid farewell. The air buzzed with excitement as the crew prepared for their next mission. The departure ceremony was steeped in ceremonial grandeur. About 180 crew members embarked on the port of Tokyo Harumi Pier, setting the course for another Antarctic region observation mission. The 138-meter ship, J.S. Shiratsi, embarked on its journey.
destined to drop off a wintering party at Japan's Sayowa Station Base, where they would spend the next 16 months. During her journey, the icebreaker encounters thick layers of ice that can cripple her progress. To overcome these obstacles, Shiratsi employs a process known as snow melt. This method involves using spray pumps designed to melt snow by drawing in seawater and pumping it through nozzles positioned at the ship's bow. The seawater is then sprayed onto the ice sheets, rapidly absorbing heat from the environment and causing the snow and ice to melt. Snow melt enables the ship to crawl through ice up to five feet thick at a speed of approximately three miles per hour. During the 61st Antarctic Research Expedition, an extensive observation was conducted off the Totten Glacier. An extensive observation was conducted off the Toten Glacier, one of the largest glaciers in East Antarctica. This mission aimed to elucidate the melting process of the glacier as warm seawater flows underneath its tip, accelerating its rapid melting. The expedition leveraged advanced equipment, such as remote-controlled unmanned underwater vehicles and helicopters to measure sea temperature and salinity over a large area. Amidst the harsh environment of Antarctica, life aboard the Shiratsi takes on a unique blend of resilience and camaraderie. Despite the frigid temperatures and challenging conditions, the crew finds moments of respite through recreational activities. From the warmth of the galley, the ship's cooks prepare special meals like mochi, curry, and traditional New Year dishes. While these celebrations may not replace those at home, they serve as comforting reminders of tradition and culture. Shiratsi is equipped with specialized mechanisms for transporting heavy loads throughout the vessel. Heavy equipment, Supplies and scientific instruments are efficiently moved between decks and compartments, utilizing a combination of elevators, cranes, winches, and hydraulic systems. These systems are strategically positioned to maximize accessibility and minimize disruption to onboard operations. For instance, to bring the loads from the cargo hold to the top deck, the crew first moves them with a forklift and then places them on the elevator, which lifts them up to the deck. Meanwhile, research containers are handled with the ship's crane. The operator carefully lifts them from the slot and lowers them onto the ground.
After several months, the expedition arrived at Showa Station for on-site surveys. To sustain the crew and their mission in this remote area, the Japan Maritime Self-Defense Force deployed two transport helicopters to offload crucial supplies like fuel, food, and observation instruments simultaneously. Daily necessities are carefully delivered one by one to the crew. The transportation extended beyond the station itself, with supplies and equipment also delivered to observation points surrounding the Showa base. Icebreakers are constructed through a meticulous process that begins with laying the keel, the structure on which the ship will be built. Subsequently, the ship's hull is built in subsections, which are then joined together to form sections. These sections are gradually assembled, incorporating the ship's major machinery, propulsion systems and superstructure. The bow and the deck house are the last superstructures to be fitted. Here at Canada's National Research Council, scale models are subjected to simulated ice conditions to assess their performance. The U.S. is one of the pioneering nations in ice-breaking technology. The U.S. Coast Guard manages America's icebreaker fleet, currently having two icebreakers in active use, the Polar Star and the Healy. The Polar Star is a 399-foot heavy icebreaker. It's mainly tasked with missions in Antarctica, where it breaks through thick ice, sometimes up to 21 feet thick, to maintain open channels for resupplying the McMurdo Station. On the other hand, Cutter Healy is deployed for scientific studies in both the Arctic and Antarctic regions. The medium ship covers a wide range of missions, from conducting scientific research to participating in search and rescue operations. Maintenance is crucial to keeping these icebreakers in service for a prolonged period of time. Previously, Polar Star suffered a shaft leak that threatened the vessel's ability to support Operation Deep Freeze. Another notable maintenance example is replacing the propulsion system of Cutter Healy. The unit was damaged after the propulsion motor caught fire in 2020. A major overhaul of the ship's propulsion motor was then carried out in just one month. Through innovation in icebreaking ships and their maintenance, nations facilitate scientific endeavors in some of Earth's most challenging environments. That's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our new content. See you next time.